Hi guys, uh, before I get into the video, I just need to put out a quick disclaimer. Uh, since the software uh, can write to Skylanders and change certain things on them, uh, especially the second one I talk about, Skyreader, I highly recommend uh, you do not use Senseis with this program because Senseis have a extra level of encryption. And if you screw anything up, that encryption will activate and it will brick your figure. There is nothing you can do to fix it. Uh, once they're bricked, they're gone. Uh, you cannot reset them or anything. There, there's no method to fix them. It will straight up break and there's nothing you can do about it. So uh, if you wanted to use these software to edit senseis, I highly recommend uh, you don't because there's a huge chance they will brick. Now, if you want to use a character from the first, second, third, fourth, fifth game, that's fine. They don't have the extra level of encryption. And if they get corrupted, that's fine. You can easily reset them. So with that quick disclaimer out of the way, I hope you guys learned something new and I hope you enjoyed the video. Today, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to edit your Skylanders. This includes their money, level, hats, nicknames, and basically everything else you can think of, like heroic challenges and stuff, as well as I'm going to teach you guys how to back them up as well. These are the two programs I use all the time. Now, first, we need to start with is if you have followed my previous tutorial I have for Dolphin, uh, that means your portal driver has actually changed, and you need to change it back to the default, which is super easy. I'll show you right here. Basically, you just need to type drivers in here. And uh, once you go in there, you just go to that, and then you'll see your portal here. You just do driver, update driver, browse, and then you just scroll the way down right here. You click that, press next, and then it's installed. Now, if you've never messed with Dolphin, you don't have to do that step. I'm sure most of you know, but for those that don't, I need to go over the portals that work and that don't work. The portals that do work, all of the Wii, Wii U, PS3, PS4, as well as any of the 3DS portals that you can plug into in the back, and the Battlegrounds portal as well. The ones that won't work, none of the Xbox 360, none of the Xbox Ones, uh, as well as the Trap Team and Superchargers mobile portals. Those don't work because you can't plug them in. As well as the 3DS portal uh, that came out with Swap Force. That one won't work either because there's nowhere to plug in. So first, I'm going to teach you guys the, the least interesting out of the programs, but a necessary one. I'm going to teach you how to use Skylanders GUI tool. Basically, this is uh, when you download it, you'll get this folder right here. And this is the program that you actually use right here. When you open it up, you won't see anything on the side. These are Skylanders that I have backed up. Basically, in a nutshell, all you have to do is press Portal Connect, and it should say Portal Connected down there. Now, uh, this program is completely safe, unlike the next program I'll get to. But I'm going to show you guys, for example, I will put on a Jitback figure, and it will load it. And there you go. So, got a pirate hat on, money, experience, he's level 7, uh, there's his time, first played, not today, obviously. And what you can do is you use this software right here to be able to basically save your Skylanders. So if you want to, let's say you want to play through the games again, and you want to be able to save it. So, and you can go back and put that save file back onto the Skylander without having to completely lose it and never be able to get it back. Let's say you did all the heroic challenges on this jetpack and you don't want to lose all that. Well, all you have to do, and uh, if it didn't load the Skylanders immediately, you can press uh, read figure. Now, uh, all you have to do is press save figure and boom, there it's saved. So when you close out of the program here, you open it back up, you'll see your jetpacks down there. Now it will automatically, I still have the jetpack on the portal, so it's reading it again. Now if I go in uh, to my game here, and I put my boy jetpack here on the portal, Hulk and 
You'll see, he's got his all of his money there and his levels. Oh, the sky's the limit. His upgrades and stuff like that. Now, if I reset him though, I don't have to worry about anything. Let's say I want to play with him in a different game and I enjoy you know, playing through and upgrading. That's part of the fun. So if I want to reset him, maybe I want to play through Swap Force with him or something like that. I can reset him here. And then I can go around, maybe collect some coins or something like that. I guess that dummy doesn't want to give me any coins, but... Maybe go down here, get some coins. There we go. Got 13 coins, so there you go. That's saved in my jetpack. Now, if I take him off, and we go back to our program here, we open it up again. We can see we have the stats here for our jetpack. This is his little save file we have here on the side. Now, if we put the jetpack on that we reset to level one, he's got like 13 coins. It's going to read that. It's like, okay, he's got, oh, well, it looks like those coins didn't save, but. Okay, there we go. That's proper. Sometimes you have to do that. Make sure you read it. So he's level one. It looks like the money didn't save, which that's fine. But still, he's reset. He's been played a total of seven seconds. So all you have to do here for it to work is you have to go right here. Click on that. And there you go. See, it loads up our stats and just press right figure. See, it's writing. And basically what this is going to do is it will just put the stats that was previously on your jetpack back on there. So now when we go back to the game and put our boy jetpack back on, and go. got his hat, he's got his money, his level, oh, the, sky's the, limit. the upgrades and everything. He's just back to where he was exactly before, which is super awesome. Uh, not only if you want to maybe do like a lock or something like that, you know, you just experiment. But uh, I'm also teaching you how to use this program for a different reason, uh, because the program that we use to actually edit Skylanders themselves is pretty unstable. So let's take Jet back off here. And also, as well, if you want to save a swapper, it's not too hard. Uh, there is a, it's just a little bit of an interesting way of doing this. So, start, if you want to save the bottom of a swapper and back them up, you just quite literally only put the bottom of the swapper on there. There you go. So, we got our figure right here. It's the bottom of Night Shift. Uh, and he's got like a couple upgrades on his bottom, so you can just press save figure and that will save the bottom data for the bottom of Night Shift. Now, if you want to read the top of a swapper, you don't just put the top of the swapper on. You have to combine the swapper and when you put it on, it will actually only read the top. So there you go. It's read him. He's got some coins. Experience. He's level 12. And basically, in a nutshell, you will just press uh, save figure here and there you go and that's how you uh, back up whoppers have, since they're in two parts you have to back them up twice which isn't too hard but something to keep note of now that i've taught you guys how to properly uh save regular figures as well as swappers um move on to sky reader now, this is just a quick reminder now that we're moving on to Sky Reader. Don't use a sensei on it, or else. Who bricked my robo? All right, now that we've gotten past the boring part, it's time to get onto the fun part, Sky Reader, aka this is the program that allows you to edit Skylanders, as you edit their money, their nicknames, their levels, basically anything you could ever want. 
is what it looks like when you open it up. You gotta connect the portal. And unlike the other program, it doesn't uh, read your Skylander automatically. So you need to click on Portal and read Skylander from Portal. And there you go. You see it loaded. Make sure if these squares down here, make sure every single one of them is green when you load. Because if they're not green, when you go to write the figure, what's going to happen is it's going to corrupt it. This program is very inconsistent, very glitchy, and very buggy. It corrupts Skylanders very easily, and it... If you don't pay attention, you'll get your Skylander corrupt. Luckily, there are ways to fix it, and I'll go over that in a minute. But, uh, you know, let's just change his money to, like, 5,000, for example. Make it, like, level 14 or something like that. Um, the heroic challenges are a little bit uh, different, because you just can't set one, right? This, uh, this program is a little bit iffy when it comes to that, because uh, it's... As you can see, alpha, but it never got an update after that, so... Well, there is an actual code. If you want the original 32 heroics, you input this code right here. That code will give you every single heroic challenge from the uh, the first game. There is no code um, to get all of them from Giants as well. So, this will give you all 32 from the original game. And then you just have to do the remaining 18 since there are 50 heroic challenges in Giants. Uh, but this code actually allows Skylander Giants characters like Jetpack, Tree Rex, Pumpback, and stuff like that to get every heroic challenge because there are five heroics that they didn't carry over from the first game. So technically you can get all 50 on a character that's not supposed to get it. So yeah, let's give him that money, and I'll make him level 14, we'll give him the original 32 rogues. And hero points is something that's only in Spires of Venture. Uh, you can go all the way up to 100, but you can't go above that. So, now I'm not going to give Jetpack any because they're pointless, they don't do anything, they don't even do anything in Spires of Venture. I could give them to the Jetpack, but you would never be able to see them. So, uh, now that we have that, we'll just name them tests just to make sure this works properly right so all you have to do is uh write skylander to portal and we'll say writing to portal down here and there you go figure written to portal now uh again this program is very very buggy so make sure all these squares down here are green all right i've booted up giants uh now let's test this jetpack There he is. There's Test. Looks like he's level 14. Got 5,000 coins. Well, the sky's the limit. Looks like uh, his upgrades might have been reset, but that's not a, much of an issue since you could just program coins on to give him more. <laughs> and then uh, let's check his stats. Look at that. He's got the original 32 heroics, which shouldn't even be possible because five of them are exclusive to Spires of Venture. But there you go. All right, while I'm at it, I'm gonna teach you guys also how you can use swappers with Sky Reader, uh, because since they're in two parts, it can be a little bit confusing, but it's not very hard. Once again, you just need to connect to the portal. There you go, it's connected. And uh, you'll have, probably have noticed this read second figure. Since the swappers are in two parts, that's what you gotta do. I have a night shift currently on the portal, so if you read Skylander from portal, there you go, it's red, that, that is the night shift bottom. So it reads, uh, when you do this, read Skylander from the portal, it reads the bottom. And then when you read second figure, it reads the top. There you go, it read it. See, so you can see his coins, his level, and all that. Uh, so yeah, you can also use swappers as well with this. Now, uh, my next point I'm going to get into is, now these squares I talked about a little bit earlier, how they can screw up. And what can happen is these squares, if they're red and you write to the figure, it will corrupt it. And I know there's some goobers out there that are not going to use GUI tool like I say to. And for those people, don't worry, I expected that. So I have three methods, if you didn't use GUI tool, on how to fix a corrupted Skylander. All right, here we are. This is method one. So method one is actually Skylander Giants on the Wii, and it has to be the Wii version. Don't ask me why. It's just that's how it is. So uh, 
If you have the Wii version, just boot into story mode like you normally would just any other way. Now, once you get into story mode, it's going to say, hey, there's a problem, and we don't know what's going on. Now, there's an easy way to fix this that they don't tell you about. Just press the pause button. You go back to the main menu. Once the game has detected, keep, keep the figure on the portal, because the game has detected there's something wrong with them. Now, if you go to settings, you go to general, there's going to be a new option that says reset broken toys, and that's what you're looking for. So if you, re if you do that, it's going to reset him, but it will fix him. And then you can just load back up story, and he should work. And there you go. It says it resets him, but as you can clearly see, it did not reset everything. It more just fixed him. So it looks like he doesn't. He still doesn't have any upgrades. Stat-wise, he still got his heroics and everything. Uh, but this method is not my favorite method. Uh, but there are a couple of other methods if you don't have giants on the Wii. All right, for this method, you got to go back to the good old potato camera because I have no way to capture this. So basically, in a nutshell, you just need to grab your dude, put him on there, and this is the 3DS version of the games. And then you can just reset them that way. Because when it, it will detect, hey, that's got a problem. So if you just reset it, and there you go, there's test. There he is, he's back. All right, so this is method number three. Method number three is actually super easy. All you have to do is go to one of the games that is on the Vicarious Visions engine. Uh, the games that include this are Swap Force, Superchargers, and Imaginators. And this is honestly probably the easiest method out of all of them too. So all you have to do is put your character on. And in these games, it will detect there's something wrong with it, but it will actually also try to fix it. So you can just press recover. Hulk and, go. and it will try to fix what is wrong with it. And there you go, there's test. And again, this works on superchargers and imaginators as well, which I will show. All right, now that you guys know how to fix Corrupted Skylanders, you have officially made it to the end of the video. Now, just a quick note, remember, don't use Sensei's on Sky Reader. I have to nail that into your head because I don't want to be responsible for breaking somebody's robo. And when it comes to traps, I'm not entirely sure, so be cautious around that one. But other than that, if you guys still have questions or any concerns, uh, try shooting a comment down there or shooting me a message over on my Discord server. Remember, all the programs are going to be in the description, and so will the Discord server. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I hope you have a nice day.